So once I actually learned this for myself, I couldn't, I couldn't believe how simple it actually was because I had spent years thinking it was a hard, long hours, grueling effort, spending so much time to be able to get the body that you want. But once I made this one simple change, I was able to drop 10 pounds in four weeks and my mind was blown. And honestly, I think yours probably will be as well. So this simple change is not some magic trick. It's not some crazy gimmicky thing. It's just merely having one simple goal. Because if I've learned anything from, from trying to transform my body, it's learning that this comes through small, tiny habits, small changes that, that build up over time. But this one is one of the most powerful ones. And it's super easy because I don't want to sit here and feel deprived. I don't want to have to be cutting out all the foods. I mean, I've got a family, life is crazy and chaotic. There's always stuff around. So I needed to be able to make this work without having to cut out all these foods and feeling like there's this scarcity mindset. So I simply made it my one goal to eat as much as I want, but simply eat it from whole foods. Do I have your attention? I know it seems odd. Eat as much as you want. Eat as much as you want. I mean, that's really what I focused on doing. I didn't bother cutting out all the, you know, the quote unquote garbage foods, the processed foods, the junk foods, the things that, you know, they taste good. <laughs> I didn't cut those out. And, and honestly, the majority of the times that I've lost weight, I have been eating whipped cream, eating ice cream, drizzling peanut butter sauce on my ice cream because I love that. Eating pizza, you know, doing, going out to restaurants, doing this stuff that people think that you can't do. And it's not some, you know, it's not some magic trick. It just merely comes down to the fact that I understand what my caloric needs are. And then I make my focus on eating the majority of those calories from whole foods, which leaves me full, you know, filled with micronutrients, filled with good foods that are going to fuel all the other things that I'm doing, but then allows me some flexibility to still enjoy the foods that I love because I'm not like ravenously grabbing for them all. So, I mean, we know this, right? Especially if you're a parent, if you tell your child not to do something, what do they go do? They go do exactly what you said not to do because you said don't do it. So in the same way, if we're trying to lose weight and you tell yourself, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, gotta cut this out, you're going to want it even more. So we have to look at our behaviors and the psychology of our behaviors if we want to more easily achieve our goal. So don't tell yourself that you can't have those things. You're including them, but you're just gonna eat as much as you want picking from whole foods and then see what you actually can stomach later. Research studies have pretty conclusively shown this as well, that when we consume processed food, you're going to naturally just eat about five to 600 calories more than you would if it was, if it was whole foods. And remember too, there's nothing inherently fat forming about the processed foods. I mean, other than the fact that they're just merely very high in calories and hyper palatable. So it's super easy to eat a lot of them, but it doesn't give you the same satiety signals as, as eating from whole foods does. So I found for me that I had to stop with the scarcity mindset and focus on eating abundantly, but just from whole foods. And this along with the other two things that I've talked about in the previous two videos, which if you haven't seen those, definitely go check them out. They're a recipe to be able to get you to where you want to go. But if you still feel like, okay, I've done all of these things. I'm, I'm tracking with you, David, but you still feel like you're not seeing the results. You still could be missing one vital piece to this puzzle. And it's actually right up over in this video here. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step so that you have a direct plan about what you need to do. So as always, just go get strong, but first go give your kids a hug. Like I'm about to go do because I think that family matters more and I'm gonna see you over there on the next video.